It really feels like this test room was already wrapping up because there wasn't too much news and too many things that I wanted to cover in the last few days or so. But test room did have an update today and I knew this was coming because they were tweeting about it and I think Matt Nettick was also tweeting about it that they would be updating the new lore spells to be a little more powerful. Because if you guys watched my previous video from Test Realm and we went over and reviewed all the new spells, they weren't that great. Even the updated ones were, you know, kind of iffy on the power level, but they buffed them. So I want to go through and check them out again. I really want to focus on the first level of these spells. Let's start with the Storm one. Because most people aren't going to be upgrading these all the way. Like not even me because it's very difficult to upgrade spells in this game and I don't see that changing anytime soon. So we're gonna try to focus on the first couple levels because getting one of these to level five is almost impossible. Like most players are probably not going to ever do that because of how pay to win it is. At this point, I don't even know how you're going to get these spell elements. Maybe they're gonna drop in the pack as well uh, when it comes out. But yeah, for now we're gonna focus on these numbers. So very surprised is the storm one and it starts at 585 damage or 585 heal. I have it ranked up all the way and that just makes it so that you pretty much cast the heal every single time. You can do the same for damage or you can just go 50 50 up to 700. But 585 is pretty good. If we look at our other rank four storm spells, we have Kraken. It does more than the highest damage that Kraken can do base damage so that's pretty good it actually does a little less than Queen Calypso if you count the 20% which you know occurs before the spell hits so you get 20% plus these it does a little bit less than the max of Queen Calypso but it's still pretty comparable if I had to pick a spell to hit with I probably wouldn't pick this one I would just go with Queen Calypso because of the guaranteed damage, but I mean, this is an option because at the first level, 50-50, you can do 585 attack or heal, so you can kind of take your chances with that. I personally would like to see this even more damage than this, but since they allow you to upgrade, that's not the case. If this was a one-off spell, if there was no spell mints, then they can make this a lot, you know, like 800 plus, but... Even that max rank five isn't isn't that high, but yeah, 700s. So it's all right. It's a 50-50 chance to hit or heal, and we'll go ahead and show that what that looks like. I do want to check if the other spells have the updated look of the spell at max rank five. Let's go ahead and move on to the myth one. So this one, I remember comparing it to Keeper of the Flame, which did 400 base damage and said that the first level it wasn't even as good as that so they did buff it it's now 430 to 490 as a single hit and you can upgrade it to do more damage all the way up to 520 to 580 and you can also go the route of removing one ward from yourself or removing two wards for less damage that's the trade-off there so this spell i like where it's at and i like that the uh first tier is decent it's better than Keeper of the Flame, but you don't get the extra trap that Keeper would put up. So it's an option for Myth Wizards, and if you want to go for this when the pack comes out, then the first tier won't be that bad. And then, of course, if you want to, I don't know how, but maybe getting spellments for this will be easier than the other packs. I seriously doubt it, but yeah, you could go for the, the cleansing of the wards on yourself, so, or damage. Yeah, at least this spell is better than what it was. So I will give it that. Um, this one is really interesting. This is Camp Bandit, which is the new life spell. And this one, they've definitely changed around because I remember testing it multiple times and it didn't work how it does now, or at least how the card says it works. So at the first tier, it does some damage for five pips, by the way, you know, 295, not that high of damage, but we're more focused on what the utility is. So it converts a trap that's on you to a life trap that it then puts on the enemy. I think what this does is no matter what trap you have on you, whatever the last trap that was placed on you by the enemy, it's going to convert that to a life trap, put it on the enemy. I think this works for faints. 
that would be something to test. I don't know if I can test it right here, but we could test it with other traps. Maybe we'll test it in Lore Master again and see what it does. But that's not bad. So you can choose two different paths for this one. The top one just does the same thing, more damage. The bottom one actually changes up the utility and it converts the trap that's on you and takes 50% of it, puts it on the enemy. This one was already working and when I tested it before, it took a 30% trap that was on me and took 50% of it down to 15, put it on the enemy as a universal trap. That's why it takes the 50% because it's universal. This one is life. So that is the difference between these two. We could test that too if you want, but yeah, that is uh, where we're at on these new spells. So let's go ahead and check out Lore Master again and go ahead and test all of these because now we know how they work or at least how they're supposed to work. I do want to see if they look any different because they're all max upgraded now, not just the storm one. Actually, last time I did have the myth one fully upgraded, but it didn't work. So we can use this one first. And can I get primordial? Let's go ahead and buff these. Yeah, it still doesn't work. So they didn't change that, but we could buff it even though it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a low chance for it to actually hit. It should heal me. We'll see what that does. We'll summon Shrek here. Oh, they changed the color. Wait, maybe. Okay, 1154. I was going to say, maybe it's a different color if it heals or it hits. All right, we finally have enough pips for Camp Bandit. I could fizzle because I have the, uh, what is it? 25% accuracy debuff on me we're gonna go ahead and cast this and i think the last trap on me is a plus 30 life trap it should convert it to a 15 percent universal and put it on the enemy oh they did update him So there you go, takes the 50% of the last trap that was on you and puts it up on the enemy as a 15% or whatever universal trap. So if you took a faint off you, then it'd be 35% universal. That's how that one works. Okay, they just put a negative 45 on me, so I don't really have high hopes for casting this, but we can always pray. All right. And he's updated. I have so many weaknesses. <laughs> but it did remove to the wards. So we have that going for us, even though we're doing no damage. Yeah, those are the three new spells, all maxed. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and flee. No reason to stick around that. But yeah, those are the new spells. So just a quick glance over all these i kind of want to see the the rank one though if i had to kind of rate whether or not people would use these in pve this one i would use it just kind of a fun spell i wouldn't use it as a main hit or anything it'd be cool to heal sometimes and you know deal damage but i would kind of use it as just like a troll like to be funny spell i'm still going to go for this on my storm because i would like to have it but yeah i don't plan on ranking it up so I'm just looking at the first tier and it'd be fun to have, but not necessary for PVE for sure. There's other four pip spells that are good. Plus we have healing current if you really need to heal and you go probably crit, but a crit heal from this could still be really good. But of course it's, you know, RNG, uh, camp bandit. I don't see this one being used too often in PVE unless you're trying to go for some like strategy where you want to convert whatever trap the enemy puts on you and put it back on them to like avoid a cheat or something, but, or to stack traps somehow. That's the only reason I could see someone using this, but otherwise not too much use for five pips for a life wizard in PVE. And uh, the last one, this one I could see people using because it is a good four pip single hit for myth and it does more than keeper. And you know, enchanted this can do a decent amount of damage. So I do like this one. And I think Myth Wizards can actually use this and have a decent hit. So that's always good. 
not the best spells ever from from the lore pack and i'm sure we'll see it whenever a test drum comes alive but there is one other thing i wanted to try out at the end of this video here and that is the new sprite swarm they did update this and apparently instead of just healing it has an extra effect i have no idea where my life wizard is i mean i'm in my house but it's not gonna spawn me in that blacksmith fjord so i do want to check that out learn it on my life wizard and uh kind of test out the new effect okay so melinda Wu should have the new spell which we already looked at in one of my first test room videos but they updated it and now it does 55 initial plus 525 over time and summon a life minion if there's a damage over time on yourself so damage over time equals minion don't know what minion some life minion maybe it's the sprite guardian that would make sense but i do want to test that there we go finally got the mega man to use fire elf so now we can test this so we have the overtime and should summon the minion after we use sprite swarm here because of the overtime so let's see i'm guessing it'll be sprite guardian It's not Sprite Guardian. <laughs> it's a Wisp. Wait, what is the Wisp called? Sprightly Essence? With 45 health. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, it is going to give me a Healing Blade though. The 45 health, that's funny. It's one wand hit away from death. We'll wait around and see what else it does. But I mean, hey, it's a free minion. Kind of like a beast moon type of effect. It is going to triage me, even though my overtime is about to run out. I think it runs out here. Yep. But hey, thanks, minion. I mean, still could be good, though. And has the imp. So yeah, that is uh, what is summoned if you use the new Sprite Swarm with the overtime on you. I kind of like that they're adding more of these Beast Moon type of effects. And I hope they do it more because it makes spells interesting. But yeah, that is what you get for Sprite Swarm. So I'm just going to wait and see what the minion uses next turn. Then we'll probably flee. It's gonna triage me again, so it spams triage. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, minion. So yeah, that's probably gonna do it for this video. Um, there is a you know a tree for spell writing on this one. All it does is ups the heal. You can get 80 initial plus 615. So and summons the minion. Maybe the minion has more health too. Once you upgrade it. I don't know. But yeah, Kea loves their spell writing. They love letting you upgrade spells for a fee or just you know devote so much time in order to upgrade it like it's one or the other you either spend a lot or spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time but if you made it all the way through then please leave a like on this video subscribe for more check out my test run playlist if you missed any of those videos and other than that hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you all next time